Every atom could potentially be represented by a binary state, a zero or a one. Imagine then every interaction, every collision, and every fusion in the universe as a computation. In the infinite expanse where celestial bodies perform an eternal ballet, a notion quietly weaves through our scientific understanding, simmering gently beneath the visible phenomena. The universe with its vast complexities and boundless mysteries might be nothing less than a colossal computer meticulously operating on countless bits of information. Picture the universe, a boundless space where billions of galaxies engage in a perpetual dance of existence, weaving the tapestry of reality through mechanisms not yet fully understood. Amidst this infinite sprawl, every tree, every star, and indeed, every one of us is constructed from minuscule particles known as atoms. These infinitesimal building blocks assemble in myriad configurations, spawning the breathtaking diversity of the universe we perceive. Yet might these atoms be more than mere particles? What if we perceive them as carriers of information? A theory quietly percolating within the minds of some physicists suggests a paradigm where the universe might be articulable in terms of bits of information. Every atom, perhaps even every subatomic particle, could potentially be represented by a binary state, a zero or a one. Imagine then every interaction, every collision, and every fusion in the universe as a computation, a manipulation of informational bits resulting in the cosmic spectacle we observe. John Archibald Wheeler, a revered theoretical physicist, proposed a concept of a participatory universe, where observers are not mere spectators, but are indispensable to its existence. His famous term, it from bit, encapsulates this idea where it, all of physical reality, is derived from the bit, the most fundamental unit of information. The bit, or binary digit, represents the most rudimentary unit of information in computing and digital communications. Its simplicity, capable of existing in only two states, zero or one, off or on, true or false, serves as the foundation upon which our entire digital reality is constructed. If each atom, or perhaps even each subatomic particle, represents a bit, its state described by a simple zero or one, the universe transforms into an unfathomably vast computational structure calculating, processing, and producing reality as we know it. As we dive into the perplexing realms of quantum mechanics, we find particles such as electrons inhabiting numerous states simultaneously through a phenomenon known as superposition. This ability of particles to exist in multiple states at once presents a novel dimension in computational possibilities. In quantum computing, we utilize quantum bits, or qubits, which, unlike classical bits, can exist in a state of zero, one, or both simultaneously, thanks to superposition. Furthermore, qubits can be entangled, an enigmatic phenomenon where the state of one qubit immediately influences the state of another, regardless of the distance separating them. This fascinating behavior not only propels advances in quantum computing, but may also indicate the existence of a delicate, intricate web of information that structures our universe. David Deutsch, a prominent physicist, theorized that the universe, in its most rudimentary form, is a type of quantum computer. The link between computation and physics. In this viewpoint, every event, every undulation in the cosmos, arises from the processing of information through quantum computations, permeating every atomic interaction every molecular bond, and every celestial collision. He extrapolates that quantum computations engage in computations across parallel universes, offering solutions to problems that would be computationally insurmountable in a single universe. Each quantum event, each subatomic interaction, echoes complex calculations distributed across a potentially infinite multiverse. Through the lens of quantum mechanics, where particles inhabit a probability cloud, Existing in numerous states at once, and only defining themselves upon observation or interaction, we delve into a discussion on fate and determinism. The universe then, with its fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force, 
might be the stage of an intricate quantum computation occurring perpetually in every nook and cranny of space-time. In their quest to decipher the universe, scientists probe theories such as quantum field theory and string theory, endeavoring to uncover a unified framework that merges all forces, particles, and interactions within a quantum informational context, thereby unveiling the universal algorithm. Envisioning each star, each galaxy, and even the dark interstellar void, not as mere physical entities, but as elements of a universe-scale information processor, invites a transformative perspective. Every cosmic event, from the ignition of stars to the emergence of life, might be a manifestation of complex quantum calculations, shaping not only our observable universe, but potentially an infinite number of unseen universes. Digital physics proffers a riveting proposition, that the universe, at its most foundational level, is constructed of information and is inherently computable. Every event, from the spin of electrons to the rotation of galaxies, can be depicted as a transformation of information. In this view, the universe might be envisioned as an immense cascade of information processing, an unending waterfall where every droplet represents a bit of information cascading through the river of reality. The holographic principle leads our understanding of reality into enigmatic terrains, proposing that our tangible 3D universe might be a holographic projection originating from information encoded on a distant 2D surface. Every fragment of information that constitutes our reality might be encoded on this cosmic horizon, with our universe materializing as a holographic emanation from this distant encoding. Imagine a universe where each point in space and moment in time is a cell in a vast grid, each cell pulsating with bits of information, evolving, interacting, and weaving the cosmos as we know it. Cellular automata operate on this principle, wherein each cell evolves according to set rules, leading to an elaborate tapestry of complexity emerging from simple binary interactions. The universe, too, might be conceived as a cellular automaton, where every event, every interaction, is the outcome of fundamental, perhaps binary information units evolving through cosmic algorithms, giving rise to the complexity and diversity we witness in the cosmos. If the universe is indeed a computational entity, an enormous quantum computer or an automaton interplaying with bits of information, what implications does this have for our understanding of reality, consciousness, and the nature of existence? And as our technological prowess advances, as we weave digital realms and breathe life into artificial intelligences, do we, in some peculiarly beautiful way, mimic on an infinitesimal scale the grandeur and mechanisms of our own universe? As we immerse ourselves into the holographic principle, the universe in its entirety can be described using bits of information, which can theoretically be mapped onto a two-dimensional surface, encoding our universe similarly to a hologram. Black holes with their awe-inspiring gravities and perplexing singularities provide a spellbinding playground to explore these theories, hiding and revealing tantalizing tales about information, its conservation, and its transformation. Confronting the paradoxes of information in the enigmatic arenas of black holes and the uncharted territories where quantum mechanics and general relativity intertwine, we embark on one of the greatest adventures of physics, formulating a theory of quantum gravity. String theory and loop quantum gravity, while exploring versions of the holographic principle, offer a lens through which the complexities of 3D quantum gravity can be translated and understood via a 2D projection, potentially unlocking the mysterious quantum nature of space-time. If our universe, in its astronomical vastness and complexity, can indeed be described as a hologram, a projection from a higher dimensional space, we find ourselves contemplating on a precipice, gazing into the abyss of profound philosophical and scientific questions, is the boundary between reality and illusion merely a figment of our collective imaginations? Are we beings within a physical universe, or are we mere projections of a cosmic information processor? Our existences played out on the vast stage of the cosmos, and so we continue to ponder, explore, and dream. 
Though these theories are speculative and still under rigorous scrutiny, they invite us to ponder the true nature of reality and our place within this vast computational cosmos. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.